Hey everybody, Wolfie here. Got, oh, we just came in, got in the trail, me and Alex and Ellie. Oh, <laughs> it's a hot one today. It's supposed to be even hotter all week. Um, but got something special for the cabin that I brought in today. So this will be, I guess, the first clip of a big project or the first sign of a big project build um those that follow the page on uh facebook um have already got a gl quick glimpse of what i'm talking about so i'm going to turn the camera around here and we're going to see how this item did on the trip in because it was kind of iffy <laughs> well padded thing I got the straps off and the sheets chipboard are not what are not the item but these are the roof for my second wood storage I can go right there The sleeping bag. Oh. And yeah. Now I gotta try and move this thing on my own. Got a couple pieces of aluminum frame. These are intricate to this project. So See if I can do this. Another sleeping bag underneath so it slides easy. Whew. There's a zipper that broke off my coat on the way in. Okay, so here we have it. Now I'm hoping this is showing up on camera. Now I know it does. A new solar panel. Used, but it's new to me. 240 watt panel. And this pretty much doubles the size of my sol solar array. Just this one panel. And well, it's damn near as big as the entire solar array is right now. So, so this summer we're going to be building a new frame for like frame system for the solar panels and finishing up the um, inside control panel move but we picked this thing up it's not too bad it's uh, 10 years old from the date of manufacture and I only paid 50 bucks for it, so the reason it was 50 bucks is somebody cut the wires. Mind you, there's still like, oh, two, two and a half feet of wire there to work with. And I was going to have to trim the ends off it anyway, so. So, yeah, this is new addition for the solar array. Oh, get this clear of the trailer. Lay it down very carefully. <laughs> oh, wow. Thing's got some weight to it. Okay, extra little bonus clip here about the panel. We're in our testing stage. Got it set up against the sawhorse here. Got 
my old car battery hooked up through just the PWM controller. And as you can see, everything seems to be working pretty good. We got the power coming in at 14.4 volts. 14.3. <laughs> so it says it's charging. That's what the, if you can make it out, that's what the blinking arrow is. It's got the, means that there's power coming from the panel to the battery. So, we're going to see how well it does at charging that car battery today. The test part of this is, because that's just a cheapy charge controller, I want to see if it can handle sitting out here. It's going to be a clear, very sunny day. So I'm hoping, I'm, that's why this is being done outdoors too, <laughs> out here. Um, I want to see if that charge controller can handle this much power being put through it. If so, then I'm almost set. I've got a couple things to get for the whole system upgrade. Um, i got to get some more conduit. Um, this panel will be run with separate, uh, the wiring will be run from a, through a separate conduit than the ones from the 40 watt panels. So I'll have two set, two runs of conduit running to the cabin. And I'm not sure if I had mentioned it before, this panel will have its own charge controller. And then the smaller panels will have their own charge controller. And then they will run to the bus bars and to the battery bank from there. But this was my temporary battery before I got my good deep cycles. So it's going to make a good test subject for today. And hopefully everything works out. Well, after a full day of sun, let's see how things went. I just disconnected my feeds from the solar panel, so it's now unhooked. And it's reading 13.1 for the battery. So, we're going to check this out using the multimeter. Set it on DC volts. Yep, we're on DC volts. Thirteen point one eight. Now, this battery was at ten point six volts. This morning. That's dead. Plain and simple. That's dead. And it brought this thing back up to life into 13 volts using the cheap PWM charge controller. And I do mean cheap. That's a 20 amp charge controller. I think it cost me $21 or something through Amazon. So the panel definitely works and it works on this charge controller. There's no heat. It's not warm in any way. So the test was definitely a success. And I guess I just have to get on to the next part of the builds, which will be the new framework. Well, I'm at that. Work on getting my other run of conduit. we got to get the two things of conduit in the ground. They'll go from here across 
to that little orange flag somewhere right here anyway and I guess yeah but the solar test today using the new 230 watt panel helium panel or helium or I don't know something like that it's a Canadian made panel and using the cheap Chinese made charge con PWM charge controller and a dead car battery and it charged it I like that I I actually really like that that it worked that well just in the one day okay thanks for watching everyone um kind of a boring little video to most people but it's an important part of the upgrades here at the cabin and I wanted to share it with everyone so I guess that's about it everyone have a great day and we'll talk to you all soon.